You'll have heard this before. A poor workman always blames his tools. And when it comes to social media, that couldn't be more truer. And that's exactly what we'll be talking about today. Now, when it comes to social media, you need to have a couple of tools. Essentially, what you're doing is creating content. So you need to have some form of content creation software if you haven't already got that. This could be in the form of Canva, which is really popular. A lot of people are using that at the moment. And the majority of posts which you see will have been produced using Canva. Um, but I mean, you don't have to use that particular one. There's other alternatives available. You could use Photoshop. You could use any, essentially what you're looking at doing is heightening the image, is editing the image. So anything that allows you to add text, anything that allows you to change the color. I mean, most of these apps you can even get now on your mobile phones. So it's a really great way to edit images, edit stock photos, and really bring your social stories to life. So that's with regards to the content. In terms of using um, software to edit for uh, videos, there's a really good um, software at the moment. It's called Capwing. Again, it's online, so you don't need to download anything. And it allows you to edit videos. It's quite simple, drag and drop. Um, so that's another great little tool to use as well. And with using both of these tools, so Canva and Capwing, you'd be really good in terms of producing more content, in terms of editing it and making the pictures and videos just as you like them. And on top of that, we also have the distribution side of the network. So how do we distribute our content once it has been produced? So for the distribution side, what I'd suggest is there's a couple of options available. If you want to have a quick Google, you'll come across some things like Buffer, Hootsuite, TweetDeck, um, and there's a couple of others as well. Um, and it's just really finding the one which suits you. So what would work for you and your business? What would be the ideal situation? So I'd say rather than having one piece of content which you're going to edit and then you're going to schedule it, do it in batches, have a couple. So start off with a couple of pieces of content which you're going to be producing and then start batching them up and then get them scheduled and published. And that would definitely see you with a much more higher success rate. So top tip for today, it's all about the tools. And when it comes to social media, make sure that you have the right tools for the job.